Imagine 100 players were split across three different dimensions, all controlled by the Dimension Dictator. And when the Dimension Dictator opens the portals, which civilizations will drop and which one will come out victorious? It was day one and I spawned in on the end. And now that I had officially joined the end, my new goal was to lead the end to victory. The Supreme Warden had commanded us to prepare by gathering some gear and scouting the island and meeting some other players. So I gathered my first piece of wood and then I met some other players. And they were pretty interesting. Okay, I'm mining. I'm gonna comment on everything I'm doing. I'm mining. Why? I'm breathing. I just, just moved my I leg. Prepare myself for case Avoma, please. Why, why are you doing leg. this to us? I just Avoma, moved my leg Avoma, again. please. Oh, I, I'm so uncomfortable. Are right you now. actually going to say everything you're doing? No. <laughs> yeah, he was. Really nah, bro. Really nah, bro got fed thing. up in three no. seconds. No, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> bro was done with it in two seconds. Now, this interesting player I met was named Avoma, and I actually really liked him. So we decided that we were gonna stick together throughout this whole event. And the first thing we decided to do is go caving. Oh, do we not take fall damage? Wait, we don't take any fall damage. Oh, and. It turns out that we didn't take any fall damage. And that's because the end's special attribute is taking no fall damage. And the nether was completely fire resistant. And the overworld, well, they had no special abilities. But that's because they weren't stuck in the end. There's nothing down There's yeah. no ores. And since we were stuck in the end, there was no ores. So the only way to get iron was to mine some endstone and pray. Oh, I got iron. And once we knew how to get iron, we kept mining. And after mining for a while, we realized that we were not getting anything. Wait, there's structures, right? Oh, we should we should probably go up and try and light them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see this, that. Let's this see is a waste of time. Yeah, yeah, this is a fat waste all of right, time. Let's go. So we left the cave and started to explore to see if we could find any structures. Oh no, all the custom structures will be freaking looted, man. We're so dumb. <laughs> we're actually Yo, so yeah, dumb. This, I'm, bl I'm blaming this on you. <laughs> oh no, personally. <laughs> you went, you went. Yo, let's go down in this cave. No, I'll, I, look, I just, let's just run. Let's just run for a bit and see what we find. So that's exactly what we did and we did actually end up finding some structures i don't know oh look look, look there's some there's some now there's some of them here that definitely definitely been looted but we were starting to lose hope as we thought that all the structures had already been looted but we had to still check them out just to be sure so we started making our way over there we made it up and we finally entered hoping for there to be some unlooted chest this for sure has not been looted oh my gosh no oh my, my gosh. god and and oh, no, no, how keep looting keep looting Oh my god. And despite being extremely late to getting to the structures, we actually managed to get some loot. So we tried to continue looting, but it didn't end up going our way. There's so much loot here. Okay. Wait, what? Maybe not. Yo, it's looted, I think. It's just that no. chest. That chest no is secret. Way. Bro, we've been in this event for like five minutes. Oh, wait, are these good? These are like... I have no right? idea. It's, no, the diamond. The diamond. The diamond. So it seemed that this structure was actually looted. But at least we got some ender armor, which is the equivalent to some diamond armor. And we also got some diamonds, so we decided to make some diamond pickaxes. Bro, there's nothing in the end. We should have made diamond swords. That was such a bad call. <sighs> uh, no, bro, no. What do you mean? We'll get like an ender sword or something. Someone will give us an ender sword. Or I don't know. I'll just try and get down. <laughs> yeah, they'll just give it to us. Yeah, there's no fall damage. Just... Oh. oh, oh yeah, there is no fall damage. Do you, reckon, do you reckon that structure's been looted over there? It's just outside of my render distance. It's that way. So we found another structure and decided that that's where we needed to go. Because we needed more loot and we really needed to save the end dimension. And I also realized that only we were able to do that. As I didn't trust anyone else to save our whole dimension. But before we could act on it, we had to get some more loot. So we started heading over to the structure. But on our way, we actually ran into some more people. Oh, Relic. Uh, What's yo, going on? Yo, uh, yo, can I see that thing? What is what? that? Wait, hit Q on the shield. <laughs> Wait, why? <laughs> why? My, I don't got a Q button in <laughs> Yeah, that's why you got a Q in your name. That's why you got a Q in your name, yeah. Oh, yeah, wait, he got you there. He got you there. Now you have to drop it. Come on. <laughs> nah, see, what happened was I made my Discord on my phone, you see? Oh, <laughs> damn, damn, damn. I, no, I feel yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Tough times, tough times. So after some shenanigans with our new friend, all three of us decided to go to the structure together. And once we got to the structure, we entered. But we quickly realized that it was a lot more dangerous than it seemed. Okay, no, 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 no. Oh, my God, oh, I'm going to oh, die oh. I'm gonna freaking die no, no, here. Okay, okay. I'm gonna freaking kill the shulkers. Kill oh the shulkers. God. I got one. I got one. Oh my god. Oh my. Avoma, stay alive, please, please. No, I, I, I'm so low. I'm so low. I'm so low. I'm good. I'm. Uh, I ate. Oh. Don't die. Don't die. Block yourself in. Block yourself in. Block yourself in now. Block yourself I in. I am. I am. No get in here. Get in here. Get in. Here. Oh. Uh, I got hit. I got hit. I got hit. I got hit. Oh, there's somebody. Oh. oh. Oh, oh my god, oh, I'm so oh, low. Eat, <laughs> eat, eat, I'm eat, so eat. Low. Okay, this was, this was such a bad idea. This was such a bad idea. We, we need to dip. And while me and Avoma managed to actually get to safety, our friend Relic did not. Oh, and I think I forgot to mention that everyone is in hardcore. So that was his one and only life. And now that he was gone, we decided that we were going to try to retrieve his loot. So with the one piece of iron I had, I decided to make a shield. Look, look, his loot's down there. His loot's down there. I see his loot. I see. We can just take through the floor. Oh, this way. Oh, god, this way. Okay. 
Okay, go Dude. down from here. Okay, Draken. Yeah, yeah, like this, go like this. The so just keep blocking. Yeah, 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 go, go, go. I'll follow you lead. Yeah, okay, I'll follow you lead. I'll follow you lead. No, no, no. <laughs> Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> Okay, I'm going for the loot. Okay, I'm good. 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 Okay. I got. Okay, I got good, an good. Ender Shield. I got an Ender. That's no, 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 what I got. That's what I picked up. Cover, 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 cover. Okay, okay. <laughs> I got. I, I boxed you. <laughs> All right, I think we're good. I think we just leave from here. And now that we got the loot and we thought we were safe, we decided that we had to leave this structure. <sighs> no, there's a box right here. Okay. There's a. There's a one right on top of you. No, we there's need to get out of here. Right we need to get. Oh, yo, my God! it up. Hey, we need to get out of here. We, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die this early. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. We need to get I don't want to die. Need to get out. I don't want to die. And we decided that the only way we were going to escape is just by making a run for yeah, it. Yeah, just run. Just run. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. And just like that, we finally escaped. And we were back to safety. So after we got to safety, we decided that we still needed to gear up. So we started to mine a bunch of endstone. But then Avoma said this. Bro, I'm, I'm going to have to I'm gonna have to go for 15 minutes, for five minutes to eat my tea. <laughs> that might be the most British thing I've ever heard. No chance that was real. Go on. No, no I'm not even joking. Just I'm going to have to go in like 10 minutes. Just drink your minutes. tea here. What? Bring your tea to your... No, 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 no. no. Not like tea as in, not, as in drinking. Like dinner, you call it dinner. You call it dinner. What? So you you call dinner like eat. tea? <laughs> so before Avoma went to have his tea, to be a bit safer, we decided to move our operations underground. And while we were underground, we actually met up with a few more people, and we finally figured out why we weren't getting anything from mining. Like I can't get iron. Like it's so. You gotta go. Rare. I think you gotta go. I think you gotta go deeper, man. Really? Oh, deeper, man. We're so dumb. <laughs> Wait. Oh, is this why these guys are going deeper now? Yeah, dude, yeah, we're already going deep. Oh, okay. Neo, we're so dumb. We're so stupid. We're so dumb. So with this new information, we started to mine. Oh, I got diamonds. I got three diamonds. Oh, wait, no, no. I got two. And once we started to get diamonds, we decided to make some gear. But this is when Avoma had to go and have his tea. So in the meantime, I kept mining. And after continuing to mine for a while, something happened. Oh, no, the election. And the Supreme Warden had now demanded an election, which just meant that each dimension will elect their own leaders to lead their teams into victory. But this was actually a problem because Avoma wasn't back yet. And he was an essential part of my plan to save the end. I wanted to make Avoma the king so he could take the public burden but I could help him rule and help him save the end. So we needed to get to this election and make sure that Avoma won. But the clock was running out and Avoma still wasn't back yet. So I just had to wait and pray that Avoma got back fast. Are you back? I'm back. I'm back. So now that Avoma was back, we had to book it to the portal. With only a couple minutes left, we had to make it there and participate in the election. So we made it to the surface and started running. And eventually we made it there just on time. So after convincing Avoma that it would be a good idea for him to run for king, he got up on the stand and he started his speech. You have, you have 20 seconds, go. Okay, I want to be leader because I've never been leader before and I reckon I could be a good leader and I, I, re I have really good armor oh, and I, I can help you all. I've not got bribery. I'm not bribery because I don't grab, but I can really promise you we can win this event. We can win this event. We can win this event. Look at all those. We can win this event. Yes. What did he just say? No one quite understood what he was saying. And there was too many candidates and somehow Avoma was one of the top ones. So our team needed to figure out a way to quickly pick the next leader. So our team decided that the top two candidates would have to duel to the death and that was avoma and another player named dufkin and they were gonna duel for leadership so i quickly gave avoma my helmet and the duel started where's the guy oh he's here oh oh, oh, oh okay i see how it is 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 you want to get a head start you want to get a head start you want to get a head start come on come on, come on. you're gonna get a head start you're gonna get a head start let's go avoma come on you're gonna get a head start you're gonna get a head start you gotta give up. Oh. You gotta give up. Please. You gotta give up. Oh no! Oh no! You gotta give up. So my best friend Avoma had won, and now he was the leader of our civilization. And me and Avoma can now lead the end to victory. And on top of that, as a result, Avoma got the crown, which granted him five extra hearts. So now that we were leading our civilization, there was no way that we could lose. And we were going to be great leaders. But our first test occurred. The invasion had started, and it meant that the Supreme Warden was sending an invasion of mobs to every dimension. And the mobs at the end dimension got were some phantoms. So we had to start dealing with those. Oh, now watch Oh, we go. I got, I got one. Oh, Make sure not to hit each other. Do not yeah, hit each other. Oh, 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 o
Don't hit each other. Radar, give me a shield. Oh, do you have two diamonds? Is there a gun? Watch out! Watch out, guys! Watch out! Watch out! Straight line side by side. There we go. And our team was now scrambled around fighting off this invasion. But whilst this happened, Avoma told me this. Yo, you're my second in command, Neo. You're, the se you're my second in command. And Avoma had reconfirmed my plan. And now we were responsible for saving the end from the Supreme Warden. And now that we cleared out the majority of the phantoms, it was time to start leading our dimension towards victory. And Avoma finally made his first demand as king. Yo, we need to build a wall. We need to build a wall. Exactly. Yes, build a wall, build a wall, build a wall. Build a wall. <laughs> so to keep our defenses tight, we started to build a wall. And as we were building the wall we learned some useful information uh, the endermen were the traitors yes we know no wait Hello, the endermen hey. were the traitors yeah we said that like 12 times oh, oh, i've killed I'm like 17 kidding. endermen <laughs> So apparently each civilization had traitors. The overworld had some villagers, the nether had piglins, and the end had some endermen. And all of these would trade for a pretty good loot. But this was the first time we were hearing of it. So going forward, we were gonna use this to our advantage. And now as we kept building the wall, this player named Hot Sweaty Garbage decided to propose a plan for the inevitable war. Yeah, but I do got a plan on how to formulate everyone together. Make formations. So go on. Let's hear off. it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Oh. So here's what I propose. We're gonna go ahead and there's gonna be very basic formations. You assign squad leaders for each one. Recall each place a go. Basically, it's going to be three men in front and two to the sides to cover their backs. Okay, so basically, you three, Neo, Golden, and Vader, stand shoulder to shoulder, facing forward. No, I had no idea what this guy was cooking, but this plan was awful. Listen, listen I'm not going to lie. Of the moment, I don't think that's going to work. This plan is in garbage. The of the moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, let's tell him, man, let's tell him as it is, man. Hey, Golden. This plan is ass. Now, instead of focusing on these awful plans, we needed to do some serious work in order for the end to survive. Yeah. But we need, we need to get everyone geared up. We need to get everyone geared up. Yeah. Out, out of iron Just, armor. Uh, we need to, we need to we need to start mining. We need to start mining because we need we need everyone geared up for the fight. And Avoma was right here. We needed to gear up our entire team to stand a chance in the final battle. So we started to head to the mines. Oh, oh there's endermen down, 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 down here. Oh, there's endermen oh, down oh, here. Oh, Can we trade with? We can't trade them. with them. What do you want about? You need an amethyst. You need amethyst. I have amethyst. I have amethyst. Click oh, em. they dropped diamonds. Right click, oh! right click them. They dropped diamonds. And these endermen dropped diamonds with trades. So with the new diamonds I got, I made a diamond axe. But our team still needed more gear. So we decided to head down. Should we just go down then? Yeah, let's go down. Should we just go deeper? Okay. And once we got down there, there was another demand. And the warden had demanded for camp building, which pretty much just meant that every civilization needed to start building their camp. And the warden would send his minion to rank each of the dimensions' camps. So we needed to build a good one. And while me and Avoma stayed in the mines, the rest of our team started building. So we continued to mine for a bit to gear up our team. So after mining for a bit, we decided to start heading up so we could help the rest of the team with the base. There's nothing on the king's crown, by the way. Oh no, oh no, oh, oh no, oh no, you get extra hearts with it. Oh god, I'm fucking <laughs> Okay. Yeah, you just did not no, see that. I thought it was. I thought you just. Uh, I thought you just give me a, the effect. Yo, to realize. Today was not your brightest day. Let me tell you that. <laughs> Definitely. But we just get over to the surface and start building. And that was exactly our plan to get to the surface so we could help and direct our team on what to build. But on our way up, Avoma got a bit sidetracked. I don't know why I'm getting dirt. Yeah, I. Uh, you, no you know what? Your plans are interesting. <laughs> I, I'm kind of concerned that you're the king right now. <laughs> well, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Maybe. You start what? organizing everyone and start building a okay. nice base. Come on. Oh, bro. I'm... Okay, let's... Yeah, I found let's, a staircase. Let's... This one was over here. Wait. Oh, 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 okay. Where is it? Yeah, yeah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> bro, he's just mining dirt by himself <laughs> as the king. <laughs> this is a great plan. <laughs> Look, just shut up. Shut up, <laughs> So after getting Avoma back on track, we finally made it to the surface. And it was time to start building. So after beginning to build our civilization, the warden was gonna make his next demand, and it finally happened. And he made the portal open, so it was finally time to meet the other civilizations. So we rushed into the warden's home, which was the center of the map. Oh, go, 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 everyone go, 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 come on, go for it. So we started making our way through the center of the map, and in the center was an enchantment table, so all the civilizations would rush to it, but we got there first. But before we could enchant, Avoma had spotted something. Oh, shoot! And! There's never here, 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 there's never here! There's never here. There's never here. Guys, charge! 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 And Avoma had decided to blindly rush in. And I wasn't gonna let my friend Avoma die. So I rushed in after him. Come here! Come here! Hey, we, we have no run, bro. There's like one kid fighting us. Fight nice. Come on, come on. Fight me! 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 
You're gonna die. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. You're right. Come here. Come here. Come here. You make a convincing argument. Come here. Get out. Get out. All right, we're out. Go out. Go in. And somehow, despite being outnumbered, we were able to push the Nether back. But on our way returning to the middle, we realized that we were in a bad situation. Hey yo! Oh, we can't go back. We can't go back. We were stuck and sandwiched between the Overworld and the Nether. So now there was only one way out. Go, 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 go! Dig, 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 dig! Quick, get that in. Get in, get in the wall, get in the wall, get in the wall, get in the wall. Everyone dig in. Shift, shift, shift. Shift wait, to wait. be quiet. Shift to be quiet. Come on, come on, Neil. Come on, come on. Where are you? Oh, there they are. Above you, above you, above you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, get up here. Invader, where are you? Invader. I'm under, I'm under. Shh, shh. So we decided that the best plan of action was to go through the wall so no one can discover us. But the issue is that the next demand was in a minute and 40 seconds. And if the warden closed the portal, then we'd be stuck in the middle. So we kept digging towards our dimensions portal, but we were still surrounded. That, that's so many name tags. But now there was only a minute on the clock and we had to rush back to our portal. And luckily we discovered a giant cavern above the whole map. So it would allow us to move much more freely, but the cavern ran out and we had to continue mining. So we mined for our lives. But then the warden boss said that the portals would close and we were officially oh, no, out the portal's of time. Closing. The portal is closing, Avoma. Get back. Close. And now we were stuck in the fourth dimension for the boss fight. And the warden boss fight was a way for him to test the dimensions and weed out the weak. So in the fourth dimension, he would come out and start picking off who was left. But we were still stuck in the fourth dimension while most of our team was back home. So we needed to make our way towards the portal, but still avoid the warden. Can you hear a wither? That's the I warden. Can hear a I can hear Bro, I can hear a dragon. Wait, wait, let's peek. Let's peek. Let's break the thing and peek. Where's the warden? Yo, he's massive! He's huge. Bro, he's huge! And the warden had already wiped out many. So we had to be careful while making our way back to our portal. Because if the warden spotted us, our one and only life might be done. Let's, let's make our way back to end. Let's make our way back to end. We can break locks, but we can't place them. But the portal's closed. And the next phase is in seven minutes. I reckon the portal's gonna reopen. There's so many people at Nether. There's so many people at Nether. Bro, bro, watch out. There's so many people. You see them? Go in, go in, go in. Yeah, come in, come in the walls. Come in the walls. Come in the walls. Oh my. Yo, they're definitely gonna see us. We just gotta be quiet. And as we kept digging and actually made it closer, to the end, we heard some people below us. Oh, right below oh, us. I see the old end. Oh, there's a portal here. Now, there were people below us, and we had to be extremely quiet because if we were found, we were pretty much dead. And as we were digging, we figured out that someone was trailing us. Oh, he's listening to us, bro. He's listening to us. That never guy, there's another guy down there listening to us. It's Cloud Pierce. <gasps> are, you, are you for real? Yeah, yeah, I saw his name. That guy's a big That guy's a sussy. That guy's a fucking sussy. <laughs> Now the infamous player Clown Pierce was trailing us. And if you guys don't know who he is, he's a Minecraft YouTuber known for his PvP skills. So if we were to encounter him, we were pretty much dead. Yeah, yeah, oh, oh, there's so many overworld people below us. And even though there were a bunch of overworld people below us, we made it back to our portal and we tried to get in contact with our team. Yo, end! 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 We're in the walls! We're in the walls! Yeah, no, no, we're on the other side of the portal, though. We're, oh, we're facing bedrock right now. I'm your king! And while we were trying to communicate, the warden was right under us, taking out most of the team that was camping our portal. And after the fighting was done down there, there was one overworld person there. So me and Avoma decided to jump him. Yo, Avoma, there's only one guy left. I think we can get him. I think we should go and get him. We can get him. Go, go, jump on him. Let's go, let's go. No, 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 he's running, he's running. But he saw us coming from a mile away and this plan backfired horribly. So me and Avoma decided to go back into the walls so we could be safe. And as we were in the walls, the warden made his next demand. Base build, which pretty much just means that we should spend more time building our base. But me and Avoma couldn't worry about that right now because we still had to make it through the portal. But thankfully, since it's a new phase, the portal should open for a brief moment. So me and Avoma jumped down praying that the portal would open. We really need this to open. We okay. really need this to open. Uh, can you get, uh, is the enchanting table? Coming out, do something to open it. Okay, yes, 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 yes. And somehow the warden had led us back through and we were finally back home. So now that we were home, we regrouped with our team. They've got enchantments <laughs> and everything. They've got enchantments. No, no, no. Never, oh, no, never no, has, no. wait, just a word of advice, never has slow falling arrows. Never has what? slow falling arrows. They shot oh. me with them. And now that we saw that we were severely outgeared, we would really need to keep building a massive base because like the warden said, he would send his minion to vote on each base and the winner would get a special surprise from the warden. So we really needed to win. So we finished building our civilization and the next phase that started. And that was the base vote where the warden's British minion would visit each civilization and vote on the best build. But it wasn't only about the builds. It was also the way we presented them. And our team had a little surprise for him. But Avoma was stressing out because he knew that this was our only chance for survival. No, bro, bro, look. Look at all the people waiting for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Calm. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> deep breath, deep breath, You got deep this, breath. you got this, you got this. Look, Avoma, we survived the Warden. We survived the Nether. Come on, you need to do it for the blessing from the Warden. It's our only chance. You <sighs> Bro, were born for was, this. That, 
I was shaking, bro. I was shaking. You were a born leader. You were chosen as the leader. You better not fail. Like, bro, look, look, look on top. Look how many people are on the end. They're all fucking relying on Avoma me. Avoma was feeling the pressure, and there was nothing more that I could say. So now all that was left to do is wait for the British minion to arrive. And the warden's British minion, Sword 4000, had finally arrived. Yo, Sword! Ooh, right. okay. Show me this, this is... place. Let's see what we're working on. All right, this is, this is the Great Wall of the Shulkers. It's here to protect all end citizens. But... It, from the uh, from the threat of the overworld and the, the never that's okay. what this is the love great it, wall here we've got arch towers you know just in case we're on standby on standby to shoot anyone that comes in the portal yeah everyone that comes yeah. in the portal yeah they're, they're, they're meeting our arches first right love down it. here we've got the the path of the harmony yeah this ooh. this ooh. gee look at it look at the blue wood it's just oh god it's elite beautiful the black right. palette is over crazy. here we've got the hum we got the humble abode this is where people come uh, communicate, collaborate. This is like the town hall. This is like the Clash of Clans town hall right yeah. here. Yeah, town hall 12, obviously, because it's blue. Of right, course. over here we've got Jerry. That's pretty much it. And we've got the, the berry Fuck. farm. The berry farm, since, um, you know, there's not a lot of agriculture uh, here in the Never. Here in the end, sorry. Here in the end, so the, we kind of have to make use of what we have. So we're kind of living off berries and chorus fruit at the moment. And I don't know how this bamboo we got here. But over here, we have got our own pet dragon. <laughs> Oh my! What the hell? Oh, okay. I didn't. Hear, I didn't realize he made that noise. Oh, 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 God. Okay. And here, here we have the the city, the um, the cottage of wrongdoers. This is where everyone who wrongs us goes in here and gets executed. Luckily, we haven't had to use it yet. But trust me, trust me when I say this, bro. That place is evil, filled with mad evil in there. So just stay away if I, if you want my advice. And okay. up here, bro, sword, you're just in time. And now it was time for the end special surprise. Milk socks, cue the music. Yo! Let's go. Bum, 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 bum. Today we are gathered here in holy matrimony for the marriage between the Fuego Wave and the Common Hat. Does the Fuego Wave, the special dragon, take? Common Hat, the even specialer dragon, as its husband. What do I do? I do? <laughs> and does Common Hat, the special dragon, take the other less special dragon, Fuego Wave, as its wife? Pizza the pasta, pizza the pasta, Ferrari, Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> then I thereby pronounce you Dragon in and Dragon. You yeah! may kiss the dragon! Yeah! So yeah, they, they planned a wedding. Now, I didn't know how this was going to work, but hey, at least it set us apart. And now I was really glad that I didn't trust anyone else to lead this civilization. But now it was time for Sword to make his final verdict. And after Sword left, the warden made his announcement. And our team was happy to say the least, because this gave us another chance at victory. And right on cue, a meteor dropped, and our entire team rushed to acquire the loot. And a player named Gunga was able to locate the meteor. And when he accessed it, he was granted with Ender Armor, Custom Weapons, and Golden Apples, as well as some other useful resources. So after he collected the loot, our team regrouped at the portal, as the next demand was going to be set by the Warden. And the next phase was war, which means that all the dimensions would fight, so they could prove who's best. And the last one standing would be spared by the Warden. So our team rushed in and made our way to the center. No push, no push, Mark, no push, no push, no push. Come on, come on, come on. And now our team was in a standoff against the overworld, and something big would have to happen to make us battle. And something did. Ronan, Ronan, Ronan. Yeah, wait for the warden to get him. Wait for the warden to get him. Yeah, they're running. Should we push? Should we push? Push, 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 push. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, go, quick, go, quick, go, quick. Quick, get him, get him, get him. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I got blindness, I got blindness. Watch out, there's a warden somewhere, there's a warden somewhere. Retreat, retreat! Never mind, we're running. Fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back. Retreat! Tunnel here, guys, tunnel here. A normal warden had spawned, so the overworld fell back, but so did the end. Watch out, it's gonna do a sonic boom! It's gonna do sonic boom! And now all the civilizations were at a standoff with the warden. And there was no way out as the warden was camping the middle. But one hero made his move. A player named Gunga had an ender pearl. So he decided to use that ender pearl to teleport in the middle. And draw the warden off of the end walls. So he took his ender pearl and teleported in the middle. And the warden took the bait and followed. And this gave the end an opening to rush back to the middle. And this gave our team the opportunity to enchant. Should we fire, should we fire, fire respect! Fire. No way, I've got fire respect! Nice! 
Oh, 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 freaking no, fire no, no, Let's go. Let's go. So after our team was completely enchanted, we now had the opportunity to strike. So we held the middle and the overworld attacked. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Don't, 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 don't retreat. Don't retreat, don't retreat. Kill these guys, kill these get guys. Get him, 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 Top mid, 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 fight, we can take him, 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 fight, 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 fight. And we were winning the battle, so the overworld decided that they were gonna retreat, but they retreated into the nether territory, so the end followed. Let's go! Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, go, 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 we can't take this. Yeah. We can, we can, we can. We just got no, two. We, can. we can't, we come can't on, come on. Come on. Push, 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 push. We've got fire respect, we've got fire respect, we've got fire respect. I'll crit this guy out, crit this guy out. Here on low, here on low. Go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh shit! Get him! Get the other one! Get the other one! Get the other one! Come here! No! Nice! 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 Come on, we need to push! We need to push them now! Go, 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 go! We need to push them now! Encircle them and kill One down, one down, one down! So as you can see from Avoma, the end rushed the nether and started wiping out everybody. Ah, got him! Got him, let's go! So after the end finished up their search in the nether, we retreated back to the end portal. But there was a problem now. Since our team heavily outnumbered the others, the others would not come out to fight. So we devised a plan. So we needed to bait the other players outside and act like we weren't present while still being there. So in the fourth dimension, do you see this roof? Oh, you could actually go behind it. So our plan was to hide behind the roof and wait till the other teams went to the middle and then we would drop down. On them. So we went to the roof and we started hiding. Where? No, no, no. He, that's not our team. Uh, that, that's our team. Wait, wait. wait. Is that Clown Pierce? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, is that Clown Pierce, sir? Yeah. This guy, Clown Pierce. Let's go. And we saw the infamous player Clown Pierce and we decided to drop down. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's Clown Pierce. Get Clown Pierce, get Clown Pierce, get Clown Pierce. Come here, Clown Pierce! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! You're dead! You're dead! You're dead! Come here, Clown Pierce! And with the infamous PvP or Clown Pierce dead, the Nether and Overworld had sealed their fate, as there was no way they could stop us now. So we journeyed throughout the different dimensions and cleared out the rest of the players, and eventually we wiped them all out. And the end was the last civilization alive, so we gained the Warden's approval, and we won. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing, liking, and commenting. And if you want to see this video from different perspectives, make sure to check out Sword4000's video on this.